Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm back with my um, February Traveler's Notebook for the um, oh, one of the Coco Daisy Traveler's Notebooks. So this one got really chunky as you can see like it won't stay shut and I actually had an issue with one of the pages where the staple kind of came out and it's a little loose but once I put it in my storage the elastic will keep it all together so that'll be fine but um, I have been thinking about these and I really love doing them but it's a kind of a lot in one book like they get really chunky and like I said this one even broke and also it's a lot of um, Sometimes it's a little too much for me to do that many pages in one month. So I'm thinking about going forward possibly using like a um, album to store them instead of how they are now in these notebooks. I think I'm going to do marches yet in this notebook just for the fact that the storage I have right now um, has a slot for three books and I have January, this is February, and so I think I'll do March yet just to fill that book. And then I'm probably going to go into like an album style. So anyway, <laughs> now that I'm done explaining all that, let's get into this lovely book. So I hear you, I just used a chipboard that says February, I stamped 2022. I love that floral, it's very pretty. Um, the first one I used a full size photo, used the title Ice Walk, and just some ephemera from the kit and made this page. The second one here was my little sister's um, 13th birthday. It's okay. It was my little sister's 13th birthday, so I did like a collage of photos and some things over here, and then used one of those um, insert pages that come in the kit to add, it had a happy little moment and then I added the stamping and the journaling. The next one had this together is my favorite place to be printed on this page. So I just added a little um, stamp and some um, enamel dots and then did this side of a picture of me and my boy. I love this, this is one of my favorites. Um, this one was about going outside. We had a like semi warmish day, so we went out and got some fresh air, and that was really nice. This one I actually used um, an L some L Studio stuff, mainly a stamp set and some paper, and made a birthday kind of layout here. We had my mother-in-law's 60th birthday up at our house, so that's what that one was about. The yellow paper was pre-printed so it matched really well. Um, this one was just grid paper and I went ahead and actually took some leftovers from a scrapbook layout I was working on and just did the uh, made like a little scrapbooky layout there and that was about a day we went out for a walk we had a nice nice warm day. We had a couple of nice days in February then we had a couple of really cold days. <laughs> Um, this one was actually the last layout I made where my book kind of fell apart there. But I have circles and circles and just another photo from that same day of walking. This one was my Valentine's, one of the Valentine's Day pages I made. I have that Always Love You. I used the February banner and a photo of my husband and my son and I wrote my Valentine's. And then used some stickers there to... Um, embellish. Here was one about my son just being silly with our cat so I stamped out just a boy and his cat, some polka dots and some um, like a frame and a heart over here. Some of these I tried to keep pretty simple because I didn't want to make it too puffy because like I said my book was getting puffy and it already kind of fell apart. And two, the ones that I did last, it was kind of hard to actually work on the page. That's another reason I'm thinking about switching to an album because the puffiness just made it really hard to get the page to look how I wanted it. So I have new hair, so I have a before and after here of when I got my hair cut. Um, this was just a random photo one evening where my son wanted to wear his Grinch PJs and he wanted me to and 
if he wants you to wear yours with him, you just can't say no. <laughs> so there, that's what we did. We wore our Grinch jammies and we were doing, he was watching a tablet and I was placing an order, I think. Um, here's a Valentine's one of our date night from Valentine's, it wasn't on Valentine's Day, but it was that week, the night we got to go out. So I did this, um, one of those insert cards and then just did a photo of me and my hubby and used that love with a heart and some stamping. I really like how this one turned out as well. Um, this one was about going to visit my pap, which would be my son's great-grandfather. He is 88. <laughs> so, yeah, we went to visit, and, uh, yeah, just a little page about that. This one is another Valentine's Day one. This is about my roses, and I used that little heart pocket and actually put my a couple of rose petals in there because my flowers died in, like, three days because I'm horrible at keeping flowers inside plants especially alive like I'm horrible at it so yeah it was nice because I got to save the uh, flowers with that little pocket and then I did this whole journaling thing and yeah one of my favorites and then the last one here it's just a full-length photo of a pretty sunset I put a heart and it says take my breath away I didn't do anything to this side because again it was getting chunky and I just left it like that and there's the end of the album. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. And let me know what you think about my ideas of switching into an album album. I think that's where I'm going, but let me know what you guys think. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!